with Nosy Ho Live. All right, we have a lot to talk about. The link. To my Twitch is in the bio of my Instagram. It's in the bio of my Twitter. I don't know how y'all don't have it by now. We can't, we don't have we can't waste time. Everybody, come over to Twitch, please. Twitch.tv slash Nosy Ho Live. Okay. I'll put it up for a second, and then we're gonna end it on these other platforms. Twitch.tv slash. So there it is right there for you. Okay. Twitch.tv slash Nosy Ho Live. Ho is spelled H-E-A-U-X. All right. Everybody, please come in on Twitch. Get comfortable. I'm about to go through everything. Everything is going to be exposed in this live. Okay. At this point, there's a lot going on. Um, the bullying is being traced back to Nicki Minaj, to the Avatar moniker from All About the Tea, to Tasha K, and to Black Tea Blog, and all of their minions are working for them. So we're just going to expose everything. Um, and then I'm going to have my subscribers help me with finding a lawyer. Yes, come over to the new property. Yes, we have a new home. Okay, YouTube allowed them to flag mass report my videos and they took them down while they allow their videos bullying me to stay up. It's the craziest shit I've ever seen. But, you know, YouTube is, is now they're part of this, too, because they're. But wait, you got a whole hit list of YouTubers that you just sent your subscribers to mass flag their channels to try to get their stuff took down. The hypocrisy of it all. How are you so upset that what you've been doing all over YouTube for a while now has came back to bite you in the ass and now you lost your YouTube channel? How are you mad? I thought you wasn't going to get upset. I thought you can handle it. When you was reporting on Nikki and you was telling her, Jen, to sue her and stuff, you don't care about nobody coming after you. You can handle it, right? You mad as hell now that all three of them damn YouTube channels got deleted, ain't you? You gonna cry later. Flower this. You can see it in her face. She gonna cry later. At this point, I just think I need to sue every damn body. This, you can't do this. This you cannot do. Okay? Email me, nosyholive at gmail.com. All right, it's everybody over on Twitch. I'm going to end the lives on Twitter, Facebook, and OnlyFans, and we're going to continue on Twitch, okay? All right, let me end those. Let's end Facebook. We're going to leave it up. We're not going to delete it. Let's end um, Twitter and let's end OnlyFans. Okay. Okay, so now at this point, we're only live on Twitch, okay? I know. I'm going to have to. YouTube is boring, but y'all ass is real mad. Her so I'm so sorry I took a long time to get here. I know I announced this and... Um, it just took me a while to get here. I was on the phone with Hot Shot Radio. I believe he's going to join us. He has some receipts. And then my girlfriend forced me to eat before starting this live. So, you know, but I'm here now. Um, hey, Shanitra, Shanitra, if you could let everybody know, I'm about to tell everything. Okay. Somebody asked, how can we do a better job of keeping the crazies out? I have a bunch of moderators. Uh, so I need all my mods on deck. I have a bunch. All right. 
Like they should all, they should be here. I don't see why they wouldn't be. Also, I'm gonna change the chat. Um, I'm pretty sure it's already already on followers only. Only followers can comment. But let me make sure. Yeah, it's on followers only chat. All right, it's already on followers only chat. So hold on, I'm gonna mod you, Abiola. That's slow. People must not know. Some people will follow you just to say something and then unfollow your ass after they done. So what is follow only chat supposed to stop? All right, I just made Abiola mod. All right, I think everybody else, um, the comments are going too fast. I'm gonna go back to StreamYard. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me go back. I see you. All right, I wanna get started, so we can't take too much time because I'm gonna need this video for evidence. So I wanna get straight into it. Okay, so everybody, um, Mika, I'm glad you're here. I'm going to put your email address. So a lot of you have a lot of receipts that show that this bullying is coming from Nicki Minaj, Her Barbs, Black Tea Blog, Tasha K, Monarch from All About the Tea. All of those receipts, please send them to NHLinvestigations at gmail.com. I'm sorry, honey, but I'm doing this video because of your behavior. I'm reporting on your behavior. I don't know Monica from All About the Tea. I don't know Tasha K. I don't know Toxic Diamond. I don't know Black Tea Bar. I don't know none of the people that you name. Or none of the other people reporting on you. I don't know none of them. So no, honey. People are not reporting on you because they're being paid. People are reporting on you because of what you do. When I just need to take even more legal action. I already had to file a police report because of the bullying. I'm going to have to take more action at this point. Okay. So please send everything there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I put to skip to seven minutes to get to, you know, the necessary information. I'm going to start at the beginning, just in case there are people who are unfamiliar with this story. You just found me. You don't know who I am. I'm going to start completely from the beginning and I'm going to use this, like I said, as evidence to give to a lawyer. I'm going to ask you all to send this video to as many lawyers as you can. Okay. We're going to find somebody that's going to take this case, and I'm going to get this taken care of. So let's start at the beginning. My name is Nosy Hope Live. My real name is Marley Green. Lies. Lies. That's your alias. One of them. But I'm not going to do what they call doxing to you but i definitely know marley green is not your real name anybody can get a fake id made with marley green on it that don't make it your real name and you can pay to have name change that is not your real name though Your subscribers is so good that they couldn't find that that ain't your real damn name. I can be reached by phone at 646-504-5840. My email address is nosyholive at gmail.com. I will put that up on the screen also. My website is nosyholive.com. I started my YouTube channel um, in 2020, 
And I, at first it was just a channel that was just kind of there, but I started consistently going live on my channel in October of 2020. The, no, the name of the YouTube channel was Nosy Whole Live. I use Nosy Whole Live everywhere. Um, and I, the first story that was big that started me to want to be consistent now on YouTube and take it more serious was a story um, kind of commenting on Tasha K and Brandy. I believe her name is Brandy Norvo. I can't remember her last name, but she's from Bad Girls Club. She um, allegedly tried to kill herself and Tasha K got on YouTube and asked everybody to please call the police and send the police there. Then she came back and said, never mind that, you know, everything was going to be OK. And I reported on that because that's a big deal. You know, Tasha K going live in the middle of the night saying that someone from Bad Girls Club tried to commit suicide. Well, when I reported on that. Tasha lied about that. Everybody knows Tasha K embellishes on her exclusive and whatever else she want to do. But what do they got to do with y'all or your YouTube channel again? My subscribers started saying to me that it was all a hoax. It was fake. Tasha K was trying to do this for clout. The girl never tried to commit suicide. They had all of the proof that the girl never tried to commit suicide. The address that Tasha K told the people to send the police to was allegedly a house that was for sale. It was just a lot going on to prove that this was not true. So I reported on it because, you know, why wouldn't I? Tasha K got very upset by that. She got in my comments. She started threatening me, saying I better take the video down. She started striking my videos. That's what started the beef between Tasha K and I. Okay. So, you know, whatever. I, I did a roast of Tasha K. We made fun of her. We moved on. Like she was basically threatening and bullying me. And everybody was like, don't let her do that. So we did a roast of Tasha K. We moved on from Tasha K. Then you can't threaten and bully a bully. Y'all bullied each other. Be clear. You know, I continue with YouTube and Tasha K ends up. Well, first, a YouTuber named Storm Monroe interviewed Jaguar Wright, who was a neo soul singer or was the neo soul singer. He interviewed her. He got a million views on YouTube. His mentor, Tasha K, wanted the same outcome. So she interviewed Jaguar Wright also. And when she interviewed Jaguar Wright, because Tasha K is a very insensitive, nasty person, she questioned Jaguar Wright about molestation that she, you know, endured as a kid. And she asked her a question about when was her hymen broken? And because Tasha K has a large following, a lot of people saw it. And a lot of women, especially sexual assault survivors, did not like it. So they started unsubscribing from Tasha K's channel, calling her out, saying, you ain't shit for doing that to Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright then started speaking to other YouTubers about what happened with Tasha K. And I was one of the people that she talked to. Jaguar Wright and I became friends. We hung out in Miami. Um, she, you know, offered support with something that my girlfriend was going through. She started to, you know, consider us family, and Tasha K did not like that either. She did a documentary trying to expose Jaguar Wright because Jaguar Wright was the reason why people left her channel. She wanted to then make Jaguar Wright look like she was a bad person. So she did a surviving um, Jaguar Wright documentary. So first I expose her by Brandy, then I become friends with Jaguar Wright. So there's two reasons that Tasha K was just after me, on me, couldn't stand me. So time continues on, and one day I get a email from one of my longtime followers. Like before I was even on YouTube, I was on Facebook, and I had a lot of people who followed me on Facebook. So this person was following me on YouTube, but knew me from Facebook. She sent me a video from YouTube, and it was from Jennifer Huff, who is the woman that Kenneth Petty raped. And Kenneth Petty is Nicki Minaj's supposed to be husband. We'll, I'm going to bring it all full circle. Don't worry. 
It's all coming back full circle. So I get the email from one of my longtime followers saying, look at this video. This is the woman that Kenneth Petty raped and she's speaking out. I go to the video, I watch it. And it's Jennifer at that time. We did not know her name. I didn't know her name. Nobody knew her name. She's speaking about what Kenneth Petty did to her. She's not showing her face. She's just showing like a cell phone or something. And I got in the comments and I said, I'm going to report on this shit tomorrow. And a lot of Nicki Minaj's fans started attacking me in the comments. And I said, fuck all y'all. Y'all don't tell me what to talk about. Fuck Nicki. Fuck the rapist husband. I'm reporting on this tomorrow. And I did, and that person, the, the victim, at this time we didn't know her name, she reached out to me because she saw me going up against the barbs in the comments and she knew that the barbs had been harassing her. And she I think it was new to her to see someone stand up to her. Yes, back when we called her Sue, I'm gonna get to that in a minute. I'm telling everything. Cause like I said, I'm gonna just send this to as many lawyers as I can. And I'm gonna ask y'all to do the same thing. So, and I'm going to download it, okay? That's why I'm using StreamYard. So, um, she emailed me, and she let me know, you know, that she is. Don't be like your Farrah, thinking you about to sue YouTube and get your shit dismissed, and then come back talking about you need more donations, but your case was dismissed. The person, because we didn't know if this was the... Uh, a troll or what but I'm going to report on it so she let me know she is the person that Kenneth Petty raped she sent me some proof of who she was and I never would expose it I just let people know I know who she is and I'm not going to give her up so I reported on it the next day the, the video blew up because it turned into a whole thing with her ending up joining my life and someone who grew up around her who is now friends with Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj. Okay? She joined the live and tried to discredit the victim. And that blew up. It got, if, if the Daily Beast reported on it, People Magazine, it blew up. So after that, I started getting more harassment from the barbs. And then Tasha K, low key, came after me again. And this is why. Tasha K is in the lawsuit with Cardi B. Everybody knows that everybody believes that Cardi B and Nicki Minaj are enemies. I don't think that Cardi B is trying to be an enemy to Nicki Minaj. I think Cardi B has moved on and Nicki Minaj is still obsessing over Cardi B. And so because of that, Nicki Minaj went and got Tasha K to do her dirty work. She knew that those two was already in a lawsuit and beef it. She did the same thing when Wendy Williams spoke on Kenneth Petty. Nicki Minaj then went and got Tasha K to go after Wendy Williams and, and Tasha K revealed on YouTube that she had pictures of the baby that Wendy Williams husband had with the side chick. This is what Nicki Minaj does. Everybody saw it. She sends Tasha K and others to harass anybody that speaks negative about her or her rapist husband. And yes, Kenneth Petty is a rapist. And I'm not saying allegedly. He raped that woman. Okay. So I start helping the victim in any way that I can. Anything that she, you know, needs, I will go live and present receipts. Tasha K then got on her YouTube channel. And I noticed some of y'all have this screen recorded. There's my email address right there. I might have it too still. She got on her YouTube channel and she said that she knows for a fact that the woman that I'm talking to is not the woman that Kenneth Petty served time for sexually assaulting because Nikki told her that this is not the victim and the victim is somewhere minding her business and wants nothing to do with this. So here's Nikki again, inserting herself into shit with YouTubers and bothering the victim, telling people that Jennifer is not the victim. Well, that became problematic because then we found out that there's a restraining order. The state put a restraining order against Kenneth Petty saying that he cannot har harass the victim directly or indirectly. So why would his wife be speaking on the victim and saying that the victim is somewhere minding her business and want to, wants nothing to do with this? How would you even know that, Nikki? You shouldn't be in contact with her. You're, there's a restraining order against your husband. 
Also, there's a channel called Black Tea Blog on YouTube, and that channel has said more than once that they work for Nikki, that they know Nikki. That channel has attacked me multiple times. That channel allowed someone who said that they were Kenneth Petty's sister Marie Petty to get on their YouTube channel and threaten Jennifer directly. Everybody heard it. Everyone heard it. Mermaids, sharks, starfish, if I leave anything out, let me know. Okay? After I tell everything, we're going to go through and see what I might have left out. Because I want everything told in this video. Everything. Everything. <laughs> so, around the time that I first started talking to the victim, this channel, All About the Tea on YouTube, started trying to report on it also. And I found out later that she wanted the story from me. She wanted to get to the victim. She wasn't, I guess she didn't want to ask me, I guess. She wanted to be sneaky about it. So she sent people to try to get close to me, to try to befriend me, hoping that I would give them the victim's information. She sent people to join my sex work class to try to get information from me that way. Like they paid for the sex work class. To get information from me. I did not know this at the time. I just knew that she was reporting on it. I came in her comments and corrected her on something that she got incorrect. And she never acknowledged it, which was shady. I saw that she was shady towards me and I moved on with my life. I'm still going, you know, investigating, you know, doing my daily celebrity news also. But also, you know, posting about... Surviving the Petties, which is the hashtag we started about Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty harassing the victim and still um, reporting on Surviving the Petties anytime that we can. Around the same time, a random YouTuber named Toxic Diamond started harassing me also. And it was just so random. She just came out of nowhere with harassing me. Just out of nowhere. So then I did a, a, a survive, a uh, roast of Toxic Diamond too. And we've had back and forth on YouTube because I couldn't understand why she was harassing me. Okay. Honey, you went further than a roast. Okay. Keep it a buck. You went further than a roast. You caught the Humane Society on that chick. You caught the motherfucking CPS on that chick. You went beyond the what she went. So then all about the tea child YouTube channel, the avatar behind the channel, Monica, has a big blowout with some of her panel members. And she really disrespects one of the panel members. And everybody starts unsubscribing from her channel, too. Just the same way they did Tasha K when Tasha K disrespected Jaguar, right? They unsubscribed from All About the Tea. All the panel members left. Nobody wanted anything to do with her. I, as a YouTuber who reports the news, I start reporting on it. The only thing I knew about All About the Tea was that I corrected her in her comments one day about the surviving the petty story. She, it, she ignored it. So I felt she was shady. I moved on. Then this happened, and I start reporting on it. And during that time, people were saying this woman hides behind an avatar. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is behind All About the Tea? All About the Tea has been bullying people. Turns out that she's bullied several housewives. Um, T.I. and Tiny allegedly wanted to sue her. Many housewives wanted to sue her. And she does her bullying and runs a troll farm and gets other people to bully on her behalf while hiding behind avatars. I didn't know this until I started reporting on it. So then we launched an investigation unmasking the avatar on my YouTube channel. And I, there's maybe 30, 40 videos of me and all of my 35,000 at that time subscribers investigating and finding out who's behind the avatar. We found out that the person behind the avatar, the main person, is a woman named Kenya Gibson, married named Kenya Harrison from Texas, Richmond, Texas. She was married to a Ricardo Harrison. Her mother is Beverly Ann Gibson, maiden name Beverly Ann Munplacher. She has a brother named Leonard Gibson. He admitted seven years ago on his Twitter page that his sister runs all about the tea. I have the receipt of that too. 
She was very upset because now that I've exposed her and given people, you know, where they can serve her a cease and desist and where they can, you know, sue her. She that's not why you did that. And we all know that's not why you did that. So you're not about to sit on camera in this video and claim that you only put out all of her personal information if that's her real personal information. So is that so that people can send her cease and desist and sue her? That is not why you did that. He's upset. Turns out that this woman is friends with Tasha K and Toxic Diamond. All of the same channels that have been harassing me, reporting on me, talking about me, sending other people to harass me all the time. They started getting multiple troll channels to start posting videos about me. They post videos about me day and night. There's maybe 20 channels. All videos harassing me, attempting to dox me, harassing my girlfriend, posting personal information about employment, just just everything. The videos have been reported to YouTube millions of times. They have refused to take it down. And I have proof that I asked them. They told me to DM them on Twitter, and I did. And I sent them the links to all of those videos that are bullying me. I have the proof. I sent them the links. And my subscribers sent them the links also, and they won't take them down. Okay. So let me show that proof. And I'm going to show you all the YouTube channels of the people that I'm talking about also. Everything's going to be exposed today. Okay. So if you all look, Team YouTube said, this is at Team YouTube. Following up on our tweet, as we've mentioned, mind sharing the video URL, violating our harassment policies, we'll pass it along to the team for review. Keep us posted. This was Monday. Um, what's today? Okay, yes. So I asked them, you know, look into my channel being removed. These are the channels. These are all of the people that have been harassing me. John Yates tells from the code. And I got these, these links from all of my subscribers. These channels post about me day and night. It never ends. They have no content other than me. Other than me. They have no other content. Okay? No other content. It goes on. All of these people have harassed me day and night. All of, and I sent them all of these links. Okay. And what they did was ask me to do, you know how they ask you to do like a, um, like to let them know how your experience was. That's all they asked. With the, and they had the emojis with the sad face and happy face, you know, was this a good experience? I'm like, are y'all listening? Uh, not almost, all of them are. And they all work for Nicki Minaj. Allegedly. And I have a lot of people who do a lot of investigating and they're gathering proof right now. And everybody that has any proof, again, there's my email address. So those channels, because I have so many receipts for what happened to Jennifer, I have so much proof. I, I investigated Kenneth Petty. Someone emailed me and told me that Kenneth Petty raped them when they were a child. I talked about that on YouTube. Because I had so much proof against all of them, they had my channel taken down. They all came together and got my YouTube channel taken down with all of my receipts, all of my proof. And I've asked YouTube multiple times to pay attention to this. I've asked them multiple. My subscribers have asked them. We have asked over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and they are ignoring it. Then today, I wake up to all of my subscribers telling me, that someone, one of the people who work for All About the Tea, who works for my, uh, Ken, uh, Nicki Minaj, one of those people posted my sex work class. Now, this is what's important. 
First of all, I got it taken down. I did a copyright claim and got it taken down. It's my property. But aside from, and I'm going to get it taken off of their OnlyFans too, because they're trying to repost it on OnlyFans. I've been on OnlyFans for a long time. I'm going to contact OnlyFans and that's coming down too. Okay. To join my sex work class, you have to send a video and you of you reading my non-disclosure agreement so that I would know your voice and you have to send an ID so I know who you are. So it's very, very likely. I started that in January. So unless they got a hold of that video before January, it's very, very likely that whoever this is, I have an ID and video of them. It's very likely. I also know the names of the people that got the video before. I have the, the payment from them. I have the email addresses. I'm going to find out who that was. But this further proves that Monica from All About the Tea sent someone to join my sex work class to get my information, to, to get close to me, to try to get close to the victim, which I was not going to give them up. I don't care if you're in my sex work class. Go be a sex worker. But I'm not going to give you any information on that woman. Okay? At this, at this point, it's become dangerous in my personal life also. I have a whole file of threats from barbs and people claiming to be barbs posting threats saying they're going to kill me, rape me and my dog. I made police reports about this. Also, my girlfriend and I were approached in person by someone who absolutely recognized me from YouTube. It has become very dangerous and, and unsafe for me and my family. And it's all because of Nicki Minaj being upset about me helping the victim. It's all because of Monica being upset about me exposing her. All of those people are friends. They all work together. And I fully, completely believe that Nikki is pulling all the strings. And I advised the victim months ago. I advised her months ago publicly to sue Nikki Minaj. I didn't want to sue Nikki. I wanted the victim to sue Nikki Minaj because of the bullying and harassment that she's experienced. And I even said, listen, I can deal with it. Be mad at me. But that woman, y'all need to leave her alone. And if you don't, she needs to sue. You can deal with it, but you upset right now because it backfired on you and your YouTube channel got deleted. But you can't handle it, though. So you say. At this point, now that I'm not, be I left, I'm not on YouTube. They took my channel. They took all of the evidence. You're still harassing me. You're still bullying me. At this point, I want an investigation done into the identities of all of these people, and I want a lawsuit. I want a lawyer, and I'm going to sue Nikki. I'm going to sue Tasha K. I'm going to sue Monica, a.k.a. Kenya Harrison, and I'm going to sue Black T. Blog, Ebony. And I want everyone who investigates on my channel to do everything that you can to figure out who is behind all of these channels. And you know who they have to, who has to tell YouTube. They have to have an AdSense account on YouTube. YouTube knows who they are. IP addresses tell everything. These people are so dumb that they don't understand this. I want all of these people taken down. You cannot do this. I have a right to report on a story where a woman is saying that, you know, this man raped me and this is what's happening now. I have a right to talk about that. that and they got a right to report on you. The same way you got a right to report on Nicki Minaj and her alleged rapist husband. Even though he do have a fucking criminal record stating that he did do it. But okay, you, you cannot be mad that they doing the same thing that you just said. It's the only thing that you're doing. Doesn't mean that you get to, you know, have a troll farm to come after me. It doesn't mean that. We have tried to go through every avenue that we could with YouTube. So that means you don't have a right to have a troll farm come after all these YouTubers that you put on a list.
that you wanted YouTube to remove all their channels for reporting on you. You cannot do to other people what you don't want done to you that was done to you. Which is your channel was removed for the things that you was doing and saying about people with showing absolutely no proof of what you're saying. YouTube is just not listening. And what makes it so crazy, they have all of these videos of beheadings and child porn and crazy shit on YouTube. And they took down my channel when what I do is report the news. That's what I do. Somebody's pulling strings. I know that, and that's why I'm going to get a lawyer. I should definitely include YouTube in the lawsuit. Absolutely. Absolutely. And your shit gonna get so I need you like all, you know, I have, luckily, I have a lot of people who support me. Um, my YouTube channel grew to 35,000 subscribers because of the work that I do. And um, I'm really proud of that. So I'm asking everybody, okay? Any receipts that you have, anybody that wants to talk and you want to remain anonymous, you know I'm not going to expose you. Remember, I knew who Jennifer was, and until she was ready to reveal her name, we nicknamed her Sue. I didn't tell anybody who she was. I wasn't going to tell anybody. So if you want to remain anonymous and tell me who is behind this, and it's going to be revealed anyway, like I said. But anything that you have, feel free to send it to me. Mika, I'm going to have people also send receipts to you, if you don't mind. All right. My lead investigator has an email address. It's nhlinvestigations at gmail.com. Anything that you have. And everybody that supports my channel, any evidence that you can find, please send it to me. Now, I wanted Hot Shot Radio to be here. Hold on for a second, y'all, because he has some more receipts. Hold on. Hold on. I shot radio better man they business for their channel get to too. I'm gonna see if I can reach him. Right, 800 people here. Thank you all. Everybody follow me on Twitch. I'll be live here. I'm also on Patreon. Patreon.com slash NosyHoLive. I have my own website, NosyHoLive.com. My links are posted on my website. All right. Hotshot, I don't know what Hotshot is, but Hotshot has receipts of someone who is directly linked to Nicki Minaj saying that they Nicki got my channel taken down and his channel's next. He has the proof. That person is linked to Nicki. They have a nightclub where they sell drugs out of the club. We got that T2. Okay? So, we like, this is all because of that. Yes, I've asked them for my content back. I don't care about the channel. I want my videos. They have receipts that I should have downloaded. Some of that stuff I do have downloaded. I'm going to go through all my downloads and see what I have. But I should have downloaded every single video that had anything to do with, with Jennifer or Monica. I should have downloaded all of them. I should have. But I'm going to get to the bottom of this. It's going to be handled. And like I said, luckily, I have a lot of people who support me. Everybody, I've been posting on Twitter nonstop. Like, e inboxing them on Twitter nonstop. I'm going to start actually posting on my page, too. But this is my Twitter page. And if you look, the first tweet, the one that's pinned, It's at Team YouTube, at YouTube, at YouTube Creators. Your platform is allowing weir weirdos to threaten to rape a black lesbian while removing my content because those same people reported my videos. Do something about this, please. And they have completely ignored this request. So this is what I think I need to do. Okay, because they make all kinds of homophobic comments about me and my girlfriend. They just, they do all of this. I think I need to reach out to all of the LGBTQ organizations. But what about all the people that 
cat. I'm about to throw a new word out there since everybody want to put phobic at the end of some shit. What about all the motherphobic statements that you made towards black women with children? The whole mammy's nickname you gave them. Girl, bye. That can help with this. I need to reach out to any entertainment lawyers that can help with this, and I need my subscribers to help me to do that. I, I mean, I've asked YouTube multiple times, and they know who's behind these channels, and they won't do anything. And they want to wash their hands of it and say, well, you know, but take my channel down. She's involved. Monica, it's all of them. I want the videos. They can keep that channel. But they, I want the videos and I want this harassment and threatening me to stop. That needs to stop. They won't do anything about it. They post all kinds of anti-black woman, anti-dark skin black woman comments about my hair, my skin color. They do it all day. And no, and they and YouTube does nothing to those channels are not taken down. Why? 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 So if you all could please send this video to every I don't dog your appearance. Uh, speak on your appearance. I speak on your attitude and your behavior. I don't speak on your appearance. I don't give a damn about your appearance. Now, I do wonder how the hell you wiping your ass right with the dang on nails on. But, girl, ain't nobody dogging your appearance. Everybody that you can send it to. I have, like I said, I have a lot of people who do support me. I'm asking all of us to start sending out emails. I'm going to um, ask you all to tag people also to this post. The tweet that I have, tag everybody that you can to that that you think will be helpful for this. The, the tweet is pinned on my Twitter page. Post the link to this video. Yes, they allowed Toxic Diamond to pull out a gun and threaten me on her YouTube channel. And she still has her channel. Still. And what you just said is very important. You have been reporting for months. What are some of her subscribers seeing? I don't understand what they are seeing. Okay, yes, she sometimes want to report on important topics. That's fine to do. That is fine and dandy. But when you start going too far and you putting out personal information on people and type things, that's not reporting. That's stepping into a whole nother lane. That's not reporting the news. Months. And they didn't take it. They didn't take any of those channels down yet. But my channel is gone. That's it's insane. I've never seen anything like this. It makes it feel like YouTube is on Nikki's payroll too. That's what it feels like. And we can't just sit back and not do anything about this. Like we can't do that. Yes, I will. Y'all can do highlights too. That's fine. I already reported it on YouTube. I reported it everywhere else. All right. There, this is this is gonna end today. I'm tired of it. They're not interfering with my money. They can tell y'all that all they want. <laughs> You can believe that if you want to. It's not a bitch on earth that can interfere with my money. Not one. Ain't nothing been stopped. Where? Where? On YouTube. They stopped that. I ain't slowed down with YouTube. nothing. Not with shopping, not with eating expensive food, nothing. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get a nice lawyer to help me.
and then they have the old class to join the updated class is three hundred and fifty dollars. So I guess they didn't have that because they post an old information at this point. So that them people can block them people from their channel. Okay, they're posting old information because nobody got the right to go to fuck around blocking. I mean, reporting people channels or doing no. the same thing to her that she you don't get a response. People. They just have that. They even I when I appeal, that. I've appealed so many times and they just send back the same automated response. All right, the same thing. So you can keep reporting, but. They, they don't do anything to those channels. They only did something to my channel. It's crazy they took you down, but all those channels are using your content. It makes the whole situation, wait, it makes it, the whole situation not make sense. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're letting them do all of these things. So Devonair better man his business but, yep. but his channel disappeared. All too. of that. We have contacted Google. I need all of y'all to contact them with me. I'm telling you, I've done that. Everybody who supports me needs to do the same thing. I have done that. I'm one person. It takes more than one person. Tag them on this post. Tag them on Twitter. At Google. Please pay attention to this. Right. I believe somebody at, at YouTube did get paid. I believe that. But we need to do more than just tag Google. Like I said, all of these organizations that are in place to protect black women, to protect uh, LGBTQ people, we need to tag all of them. And I need to contact a lawyer. I need a, a good lawyer that's going to take this case. Well, we need to do more than that today. Well, they they refunded a lot of other people because I told you I'll get your refund. So they did refund some people. I am. So I'm going to figure out everything that I can do legally. But everybody, like I said, any receipts that you have that shows that these people are involved in this, please send that to um, to us, to NHL Investigations. And my personal email address is nosyholive at gmail.com. It's going too far. It's, it's just going way too far. And it's too much that they're allowing them to do, and nobody's doing anything. No one. You remember that? They tried to get me to call that man a pedophile. They tried that. Right. Another thing that Monica from All About the Tea is known for doing is she's done this to more than just me. She'll contact you using dead people's names. She did it to me. She did it to Sherelle. She's done this to multiple people. She'll send you an email and the name will be someone who's obviously dead. She dug up this dead white woman from Lake Charles and pretended to be her. And I contacted the family and everything. It's just, it's, it's very sick what they do. It's very sick what they do. Well, I'm going to stop this video here. I'm not doing another 46 minutes of this victim playing shit that she doing. Um, only thing I have to say about this situation is she needs to learn how to take accountability for what she did. She went around doing all the same things 
to people that she is claiming all about the tea, Nicki Minaj, Tasha K, and whoever else is doing to her, yet she has no dang on receipt of these people doing anything to her. But she's so hell bent on saying that it's them that's behind the people who got her channel deleted. Why it can't be because of what you was doing and saying that got your channel deleted? Why it can't be your actions that got your channel deleted? Take accountability. And I'll catch everyone on the next video.